back so you don't miss our next adventure. Well, now that daylight savings time is over and we have to come inside at 4.30, we're bored. And so things like this happen. Well, it was only a year ago that we asked Mrs. Harlan if we could borrow her meat grinder. And we're finally giving it a try. What are we going to make, you ask? Ham loaf. Let's see how it is. I mean, it's totally working. This is Harlan. Do you ever want to grind your own meat? Okay, well, it made this giant vat of ground up ham. We've decided we think the consistency needs to be finer for meatloaf, or ham loaf. So we're gonna change out that and do it again. Oh, we're adding something. Oh it's no, just... that's just the meat. Okay, now we are sending it through again to get the finder grind. Well, it looks like I might need to help. Okay, the second ground is done. I don't know if you can tell a difference. You can tell a difference here live. What you people up here in the north do to ham is criminal. That's for Uncle Pete and Aaron. Well, what do you have there? I'm not sure, but here it is. Throw it in the pan. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. We've added saltines and egg. Two eggs. And some honey mustard, some onion powder, and some garlic powder. Turns out we think we were supposed to have some ground pork in it, but... <laughs> What's our second recipe with our immense Ad amounts of ground, ground ham. ham. Uh, we're gonna try some ham salad. We found, well, Katie found these today at good old Aldi. Cornichons, tasty. Some kind of German pickles from India. And, uh, you know, ham salad, some okay. mayo. Yeah. See how this goes. How is it to mix? Not super elegant. Somebody's gonna tell us a better way to do this. Uh, tell us in the comments. One of the 25 people that watches this. <laughs> don't have yes, people, my hands are clean. Don't have people like and subscribe to this one, mm. but tell us in the comments what you know about grinding ham. Maybe KitchenAid will sponsor this. Huh. Okay, what you got? Taste test, ham salad. Smells right. You put that whole thing in your mouth. Okay, so we cut up those cornichons, we mixed it in with um, some mayonnaise. And it wasn't right. So then we thought sweet relish. Now it's right. This is a long picture of a bowl of ham salad. All right, so this is what this thing looks like disassembled. We did clean it, so when we give it back to the person we borrowed it from, it should be spick and span. We also put a glaze together, just some pineapple juice and barbecue sauce, and it tastes pretty good. We're gonna try that on wings next time. And, uh, you know, we got about 15 minutes here on the, on the ham loaf, so we'll let you know what it looks like when it's done. see you're eating what's the verdict so i think the flavor is fine maybe a little salty the texture is not right though it's like a lot of the recipes we found said you have to put ground pork in it which we did not do maybe that matters it must matter because you don't like it at all I, I can't eat that well hopefully grandma karen will eat some of it hopefully because i'm gonna get a squiggly tail if i eat that whole thing <laughs> mm.